Well, today marks one year since hundreds of Nigerian schoolgirls were kidnapped by Boko Haram mili militants from their dormitory in northeast Nigeria. Protesters wearing red tape across their lips marched through the Nigerian capital Abuja to highlight the girls' plight. Nearly 300 students were kidnapped by Boko Haram on April 14, 2014 from a government-run secondary school in Bono State. Some managed to escape, but more than 200 are still missing. Well, the Chibo kidnappings was an, uh, kidnapping was an audacious, but by no means was it an isolated move by Boko Haram. It, has, it was emblematic of a sharp uptick in militant attacks against civilians that have since killed thousands. More than one million people have been displaced. Viewers and Luke takes a look at the past year. 276 schoolgirls, 365 days since the night Boko Haram militants stormed their school in Chibok. Rights activists who investigated say the attackers took the girls because they could. They improvised. They took us outside and burned down the whole school. They herded us into their vehicles, while the rest of us were made to track. At least 56 girls have escaped. The other 219 were gone. Their families and their town undone by anger and grief. They felt abandoned. The very Monday the kidnapping happened, we thought soldiers were going to be sent to go after our daughters. Had soldiers been deployed, quite sure, no doubt our daughters would have returned, but it did not happen. It has now been three weeks. The Chibok girls struck a chord outside the Northeast that five years of murderous insurgency had not. Nigerians started demonstrating. The outrage went global with a Twitter hashtag campaign. Bring Back Our Girls was born. The movement has held a rally every day since. The girls have not been rescued. Hopes were raised and dashed in October when the government said it was negotiating a ceasefire. We don't care, we don't give a damn, we don't give a hoot. All we want is our daughters to be brought back, period. That is all the Chibok people are saying. We, enough is enough. We have had enough. We are tired of nonsense in this country. We've had enough. Thank you. Nigeria's president-elect, Mohamedou Buhari, says he will do things differently, but offers no false hope. He says he does not know where the girls are or if they can be rescued. He says his government will do everything in its power. The Chibok girls were not the first or the last young women Boko Haram abducted. Over 2,000 women and girls have been abducted by Boko Haram over the, uh, since the beginning of, of 2014. Uh, they've been forced to either marry uh, Boko Haram militants, they've been forced to provide services or clean. Some have even, according to what we've seen, have been uh, forced to train and, and take part in attacks on their, own, on their own villages. But some activists believe Boko Haram holds the Chibok girls separately in groups. The girls could hold value as bargaining chips or shields against airstrikes. The sheer scale of the kidnapping gave Boko Haram a boost. It recently joined Islamic State, another militant group that abducts women. Nigeria and the world declared total war on Boko Haram in the wake of the Chibok kidnapping. But the fight only really kicked off in February. Troops from Nigeria and neighboring countries advance, liberating towns. And hope stirs that the Chibok girls are out there, waiting to be found. And look, VOA News, the car.